I found the Seattle Film Institute a little by accident. Uh, a fellow student at Antioch University Seattle told me about their graduate program in film producing and I had just completed my BA with the intention of teaching on the college level so I went over to the Seattle Film Institute website which is quite fabulous and then made a call to Chris Blanchett and as I'm sitting in his office having my first interview he's thinking well maybe not only would it be a good fit for you in the master's program but it might be a good fit for us for you to start teaching here because I have well, a 30, 35 year career in television. So turns out it was a good fit and I've just started teaching here in the fourth quarter of uh, this year with the um, hope to continue that each quarter and then possibly start the grad program in the fall. I grew up doing theater in school and I had some wonderful mentors first in high school and then at um, a college that I attended in Georgia and got my associate degree mm -hmm. and a lot of what they taught me has stayed with me throughout the years. I went to New York and I was fortunate to study with Sandy Meisner who is really truly a master teacher in um, uh, the method technique, his own technique and that too served me well and then I was able to work with a lot of lot of people over the course of my career both in New York and in Los Angeles uh, I often learned from people what not to do um, but I also had the opportunity to work with people that I really respected and enjoyed uh, David Garrison who played my first husband on Married with Children he's an incredible actor and I'd never been in a sitcom before and he has wonderful timing and instincts and that was a proved to be sort of a training ground just by working opposite him uh, but like I said there are a lot of people that I've met throughout my years and um, many of whom I've just learned by watching So my, my first class that I'm teaching here at Seattle Film Institute is acting for television, which makes sense because I was an actor in television and now I've been a director in television for a, a long time. Uh, it's a good fit for me. I'm teaching sitcoms and sketch comedy and soaps and those are all three genres that I worked in as an actor. Uh, my goal with these actors is to it, show them the difference in timing, the adjustments for camera, and the things that are idiosyncratic to working in each of those genres. And they are very specific. Good acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances no matter what genre you're working in on the stage and film and television. So that's also a, a core part of this curriculum. I'm just taking that and sort of being more specific with it for them and exposing them to things that they may not have been exposed to before. Hopefully they'll come away from the class with a piece of film or maybe several examples of their work on screen. It's up to them whether or not they choose to put it on YouTube. Uh, it's really not about the production value of the work. It's about them as actors being able to experience what it might feel like to be on a professional set. So there's also a new model that I'm working with and have had a recent experience with that's just been the greatest fun, and that is directing for the web. It's the same type of production as you would in terms of broadcast television. You know, you've got multi-camera, whether it's single camera or, or multi-camera, and you know, you come together and collaborate and do the same kind of work. You start with the script and the read-through and you block it and you shoot it but it's how it's distributed. So I've just recently shot a series called Skirt Chasers, which was uh, produced by a web network called Tello Films. It launches this May, um, actually in a week or a few days, one webisode at a time. Essentially, it's a half hour comedy pilot, just like what I've, the world I've been swimming in for a long, long time, except it's broken up into five five minute segments. But this is how we got the show produced. The web network paid for it. We got great actors like Barry Boswick, Elizabeth Keener, Meredith Baxter. I mean, this is kind of sitcom royalty. 
Uh, it was written and executive produced by a man named Stim, Stan Zimmerman and his writing partner, James Berg, who are prolific writer showrunners in Hollywood. I, too, have a bit of a resume behind the camera. So we all came together because we love the script, we love the material, and we wanted to work together and have fun, and it was. So I hope you find it. Uh, it's possible. We edit it also as a half-hour pilot. It's going to be shopped around town. It might get picked up. There are a lot of different outlets now for broadcasting, so a cable network, who knows? We have high hopes for it. But in the meantime, you can see it on the web, on Telefilms, Skirt Chasers.